Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27813. And in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with a video. In terms of new features in Windows, this build is a smaller one. We have a new feature feature inside the settings app if we go into settings system and then scroll at the bottom and go to optional features we're going to notice that if you click on view features you're now going to have the option to switch between the already added features and the available features that you can add on top of those so basically the added features list is moved into the view features dialog and you can just switch between them and i think this is a great addition also microsoft is removing the location history feature an api used by cortana to access 24 hours of device history when location was enabled. With the removal of the location history feature, location data will no longer be saved locally and the corresponding settings are also being removed from settings, privacy and security and then the location page. We have two new app updates in this build as well in the Canary and also in the dev channel but we're covering them in this video and we're talking about the new snipping tool app and the notepad app which have a few interesting new improvements and of course we're going to have to open the Microsoft store, check for updates to update them and you should see updates coming in for snipping tool and also the window notepad. Let's start with the snipping tool app. Let's take a screenshot really fast and once you take a screenshot you can open the window and also a pop-up will appear here which will basically let you know about the new feature that we're trying in the snipping tool app. Basically you can draw certain shapes and then hold your mouse clicked and those shapes will be generated automatically by the app. So for example I want to draw a rectangle here. I can just free draw it and then I hold the mouse and as you can see it creates it for me and then I can resize it, play around with it, and so on. And also I can rotate it if I want by clicking on this button. You can do the same thing for other things. For example, an arrow, just hold it and we'll create an arrow. Again, you can resize it and so on. Let's try to draw a circle. It's gonna create the circle for us. So of course, this is not really necessarily a circle, but you get the idea. Then again, with other shapes as well, you can do what you want. It's really, really simple. As you can see, certain shapes won't be recognized, unfortunately, but I think everything that you need is covered. Also, also, the Snipping Tool app is doing a protocol launch for developers. The Snipping Tool now supports a new and improved protocol launch experience. App callers can now customize which Snipping Tool capture features are shown when invoked from their experience. So you can check more info about that in the official Microsoft blog post. Now let's move on to the Notepad app, which also has some new interesting features. I have here a paragraph from the official Microsoft blog post. Basically, you're going to have this new icon, the Copilot Preview dropdown. You can click on it and you're going to have the option to summarize this. It's going to summarize the text with notepad but unfortunately we're gonna need a subscription for this so we won't be able to use this summarize feature you can try it out because most likely you're gonna have some free credits from Microsoft I think I don't have them because I already used them quite a lot but also a new feature is if you go to file and then you're gonna have this new option recent where you can see your recent notepad apps then you can clear the list if you don't want to have anything shown in there so these are basically the new app updates for the snipping tool and also the notepad I think these are pretty interesting we also have two fixes in this build one is related to audio, fix an issue with WDMA odd system driver, which was leading to some app crashes after the recent MIDI work. And also in settings, then system, display, and then color management, it might not display the expected color profile list for the selected monitor, so this is now fixed. We also have two known issues, one of them being for Copilot Plus PCs and one for normal users, but they are new, so if you want to check them out, you can check them out from the official Microsoft blog post. Basically, this is the build for today for the Canary channel. Channel. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.